This could be my last chance. Uh, so the anatomy of this, this scene, okay. Yeah, three different locations, huge set pieces, uh, laboratories, container ships, kind of a uh, big ambitious stunt coordination, a lot going on. People uh, being transformed from one being to another. Maybe one of the more exciting sequences in the film is when we kind of follow uh, Morbius into this final stage of testing and he enters a new world. But along the way, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> What's up everybody, Josh Real here on the set of Morbius and right behind me, they're about to shoot the first big action scene in the movie. So I'm gonna take a tour of the set and look at every level of production to show you how this big team is making it happen. Let's go. This is the scene where uh, Morbius is trying to cure his uh, fatal disease uh, with cast catastrophical uh, you know, consequences. This is the scene where, where Morbius commits the fundamental sin against himself that will motivate him not just to uh, uh, change himself, but to become the hero that we want him to be. This is the scene uh, when Peter Parker loses Ben. All of us uh, comic book nerds uh, uh, know the image of uh, Morbius being washed up on the shore and you have the yacht in the background. So for me, you know, to be able to enter a realm of uh, Marvel and uh, try to recreate an image of something I've read, you know, a million times as a kid, it's like walking on holy ground. Morbius was a bit like the unknown character that I kind of find out more when I was 12, 13. And it was a bit more hard edge. So for me, Morbius was in a way part of my kind of teenage rebellion. You know, when you go from being a more kind of naive uh, young person to having a bit more kind of a gritty perspective of your reality. So we built part of the set uh, in a location that was the lab portion of the set. We found a location that had these incredible pieces of architecture that already existed. So we added to it and built onto it to like give additional production value, great piping and the ceilings and that kind of thing. And then this part is doubling for like corridors of an actual boat. So what we've done is we found a location where you get a lot more depth and a lot more mystery because we're not really, we're not really showing the character of Morbius here. It's much more sort of glimpses of him so we needed to find places to hide him and to really feel sort of the the original alien that kind of like pressure and the, the, the suspense of that so we're doing that and then we go for one day to an actual ship and shoot on an actual ship so it's sort of spread over three places to give more dimension and depth to the to the to the sequence the moment that uh, dr. Michael Morbius becomes Morbius is an unforgettable moment and, uh, and I, we are, we're doing everything we can to make that feel emotionally powerful. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a one-way door that he passes through. So it's, it's an important moment for the character and it's an important moment for the movie. Well, I think when Dr. Michael Morbius first transforms into this other creature, it's really like being born again. Uh, I think that there's a discovery and a kind of an inability to control some of the aspects of who he is. Slowly, he starts to uh, be able to control and refine some of the, the skills and the powers. But the initial transformation um, uh, happens as a result of an accident. Again, all hell breaks loose. 